old school RuneScape. My muse, my raison d'etre. The game that keeps pulling me back after 15 years, since before it was old school RuneScape. Welcome to my random combat contract only Iron Man series. I shall have to think of a snappier name. The rules are simple. I can only kill monsters assigned to me by my spreadsheet. I can only quest or train other skills when a contract requires it. Standard Iron Man rules apply to my account, but I'll also not be using Nightmare Zone or Last Man Standing uh, for either the minigames or their shops. The wilderness is completely off limits except for clues, and any gear I obtain from Slayer I can use. But I can only train Slayer when I need to get a required level for a combat contract. With that being said, welcome to Series 1. Let's get to it. Okay, so here he is. Here's the guy. Here's Mr. Brig. Abbreviated, unlike the uh, handle of my YouTube and all of the other socials. But uh, that's because I'm using that one on my main account. And... Uh, just went with uh, the abbreviated version for the iron. So we've just completed Tutorial Island. We've deposited almost everything into the bank. Uh, I've just kept some basic weaponry and the range stuff and a couple of bits of food uh, just so we can get started on the uh, on the first task. Um, so I've built a, uh, a nice spreadsheet that will generate me a combat related task. And then I designed a nice overlay for it so that it looks very, very pretty. And uh, yeah, let's actually switch to that. So I promise you this is a spreadsheet. It, <laughs> it, it maybe doesn't look like one, but it is a spreadsheet. And I'm just going to, uh, in fact, I can prove to you that it's a spreadsheet. I think if I just... Do that. There we go. Yeah. So uh, there is just a, a spreadsheet under there. Adapted the uh, the spreadsheet that TD has very kindly provided on on his first um, video where he, he used the spreadsheet to do uh, collection log related um, tasks. So I built this one to do uh, something with combat rather than um, rather than doing anything collection log related uh, I thought um, you know I'm gonna steal his idea for sure but I'm not gonna steal it completely I'm gonna <laughs> I wanted to be able to put my own my own twist on it do some of the content in the game that I actually enjoy um, you know I've always enjoyed Slayer and you know the combat side of things way more than the you know the mindless skilling um, or questing uh, that's always been my forte uh, so I thought it only made sense to base the series off that and um, yeah I'm hoping if I can stick with it we'll actually end up learning some very end game stuff which I n I've never really done despite the fact that I've been playing RuneScape for 15 years I think I uh, 15 years last November, I think it was. I, got, I would have got my 15 year cape on RS3. Um, not that I've been playing that particular version of the game much um, in recent years, since I moved to old school a few years after that came out. And I've sort of been on and off with, with old school since. Uh, really enjoyed the leagues. Um, and that sort of inspired this a little bit. As in, I, I wanted to be able to play the game with perhaps a slightly different rule set so I thought let's do let's do something a bit different so let's go ahead then and generate the um, the first contract we'll start here in the bronze tier so these things are gonna be the, the simplest of the monsters to kill um, we've not got any uh, any of the monsters that are only assigned by Crystallia or whatever you call the wilderness slayer Mon master um, I'm not really interested in going into the wilderness for anything other than clue scroll steps. Um, you know, it's uh, it's n PvP is not an area of the game um, that I like. I don't enjoy it. It's not for me. 
Um, you know, and for that reason, you're not going to see any Last Man Standing on, on this account. I'm not going to do any LMS, and I'm not going to use the shop from LMS, uh, you know, to get the nice rune bolts or anything. Um, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to do the contracts that I'm assigned. If I'm assigned something where I need a quest to be able to do it, then I'll do that quest and I'll train the skills I need to do that quest. Um, similarly, if I get assigned a Slayer monster that I don't have the level for yet, I'll be able to train Slayer uh, the using the regular methods. Okay, so let's get our... Um, Let's get our first task. Okay, so we're going for 24 seagulls. Hmm. I'm not sure whereabouts they live, if I'm honest. But let's um let's figure that out. I'm sure the old wiki will be uh helpful in this. So the way in which that I've sorted these um these tasks, I've got them sorted sort of by combat level. Um, so the, this bronze tier is going to be some of the more easier things to kill and then they'll get more difficult as I move into iron and steel. Um, I've also sort of tried to make a few um, few changes where, where a monster might be, uh, you know, locked behind an, a really unreasonable quest. You know, so so I, I think there were some some level level ten shadow warriors or something that you can only complete once you've completed legends quest, and you know, <laughs> no one's gonna have any fun watching me <laughs> grind out skills for legends quest as part of potentially the first task I have to do on the account. That's that you know, that's that's quite a grind that I'm I'm not interested in doing straight away. So for things like that, I've I've sort of moved the tiers around a bit so there are some 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 lower level stuff in the higher tiers. Um you know, just where it felt uh, appropriate. Um so there are apparently some of these seagulls in Port Sarim. So let's head over to um Let's head over to Port Sarim. Now, this will be the first time that I'm playing an account with ridiculously low agility in a long time. Obviously, I played the League uh, last year, but um, it was unlimited run energy, uh, so it didn't really affect me. I'm going to get super, super annoyed. <laughs> by the run energy running out I'm sure of that and I don't think there are that many quests that have agility level requirements that I can think of um, so hopefully I get uh, a task soon that's going to require a quest uh, that will let me train my agility a little bit just so I can get maintain some run energy um, now hopefully there's a quest that requires sort of 70 agility would be nice because 70 agility is about the point at which I think you get graceful and it would be super useful to have full graceful on the account uh, but that's going to be a long way off um, so let's have a think what combat style are we going to use attack attack strength okay I tell you what, we'll start with uh, we'll start with some some attack. Hopefully, I don't get absolutely minced by these lower level things while I've still not got any um, <laughs> any food on the account. Of course, the only only ways I'm able to get food are, are, are through uh, through drops or through shops. You know, I haven't made stipulations that I'm allowed to just go ahead and make loads of food. Unless, of course, I need a cooking level for a quest. In which case, you know, it's absolutely fair game for me to go out and do some fishing. To get the resources I need to get the cooking level. And then those, you know, those items can then be used um, for... 
Yeah, for food. But I'm pretty sure there are plenty of um, places you can go to get pretty cheap food in the game. So I I'm not super worried about it. Um, as you can see, the account is currently a hardcore Iron Man. Um, again, that's not going to be something that I'm going to be particularly precious about. It's my first proper Iron Man account. Um, you know, there's, there are so many mechanics that I've sort of not learned for having an, an Iron Man account. I'm definitely going to die at some point. And honest to God, it's highly likely that I die in these early tasks. I would have thought. Um, because, you know, I don't have food. I've got very, very low stats. Particularly if I get something early on that can poison me. If that happens, I'm, it's going to be tough to eat through the poison. And, you know. Um, although, I can I buy anti-poisons from... Um, I think I can buy anti-poisons if I get some cash from my drops. Um, I can buy anti-poisons in Karamja, I want to say, north of Shiloh Village. I could be wrong. Yeah, hopefully this is going to... Um, I'm going to learn a whole lot of things about the game. I've not done the early game stuff in a number of years now. Um, you know, outside of leagues, and but they're very different anyway. You know, my main account I've had for a, lot, uh, a fair few years now. I've only got a 199 on it, but uh, yeah, I've played that one for on and off for a number of years now. So I've not been doing this level of stuff in a long time. So I am going to pick up and bury pretty much every single bone that I come across. Um... Or that I get from whenever I'm training uh, Slayer in order to get to the next uh, contract or um, you know whenever I'm on the contract because otherwise I'm my prayer level is going to be incredibly low until I get some quest XP or you know I, I finally hit a quest that's going to require me to um, You know, to train the prayer up, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to pick up every bone I can. When it comes to things like big bones, or if I start getting sort of like baby dragon tasks, things like that, um, depending on how my account's feeling at those points, I may well just bank those and then use them on. Um, an altar if I ever end up getting a high enough uh, construction level to build an altar just for the extra XP but I'll, I'll most likely just bury most stuff and there we go three attack already wow absolutely powering through the levels combat level four so what do you guys think about the pastel colors I think he's looking swish have also um, have uh, 3d modeled my character as well so with any luck as my skills as a 3d animator improve I've been learning blender um, outside of gaming and uh, as those skills improve I'm um, you know I'm hoping to, to get some more animations and things really uh, really up the um, production quality of this uh, asinine YouTube series I'm doing that absolutely no one's going to watch anyway. Okay, here we are. So we're on the last of these little seagull bastards. Let's get him done. And then we'll get on and generate uh, a new contract. Just bury the last of those bones. Five attack, four strength, two prayer, and eleven hit points. 
That's not bad for a few minutes of uh, killing dirty seabirds. Let's go and grab a task though. So first of all, we'll complete the seagull task. Oh. What's going on there? For whatever reason, it thought I had killed cows as well, but I haven't yet killed cows. So let's see what the new contract is. Cave goblins. Okay, I think we can live with that. So, we're going to need to go and get some items, I think. Now, the thing is, we don't have a lot of money. And I can't train any skills to make money. So I can't just go and pickpocket some men to earn a little bit of coin. I think if I'm going to be... Um, if I'm going to be going through swamps, I'm going to at least need... I'm going to at least need a candle, aren't I? In the swamp caves. I know it will explode the gas, but I think you can avoid that if you just walk the long way around. I mean, this feels like it's very quickly going to get rid of my hardcore state. <laughs> but honestly, the earlier the better because I don't want to be worrying about losing my hardcore when I get attached to this account. I'd much rather lose it early on and not have to worry about it. Uh, um, I didn't want did I? I wanted turn on the option for um, Automatically equip ar uh, arrows that I pick up. Is there anything else these guys do? Not that I'm getting a room pouch for a very long time. If at all. I don't even know if it's... Where do you get room pouches from? The wilderness or from um, Nightmare Zone, isn't it? And I've uh, restricted myself from both of those places on this account. So we won't be getting any uh, new rune pouches here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. There are not too many monsters that are that you sort of need mage in order to kill, I don't think. Deposit those things because I'm not going to need them for this task. I am going to need a tinderbox. Let's withdraw the coins you start with. see whether that's enough to buy me a candle at the candle cellar. Okay, so I've just had a look. I'm going to go and buy a rope from Draenor Village. And then we'll um, peg it all the way over to Yuneal to buy an unlit torch. I should be able to afford both of those with my measly 25 coins. And then all we need to do is hightail it back to the Lumbridge Swamp. Then we can have a go at killing some, uh, some cave goblins. So, buy a rope from Ned. Now 
now. I hadn't considered this, but I imagine I can. The mini games. Oh, that's annoying. I can't teleport to Nightmare Zone. Brain is insufficiently experienced. Yes, I do agree. Is there anything else over that way that um get me closer to Yanil? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I'll see you when I get to Yanil. Okay, so we're not at Yanil yet, but I thought I'd actually just quickly show you a, um, a RuneLight plugin um, that I've installed. So this red line is the shortest route on foot to the Hunter store in Yanil. How mad is that? So all I needed to do was right click on the old world map where I wanted to go, say set target, and it has drawn the simplest path to get there. Now, I don't believe I can use the tunnel to go under White Wolf Mountain. So it hasn't factored that in. But we should be able to walk around. Assuming I don't get absolutely shafted by the wolves. Which is an en entirely a possibility. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that one with you. Okay, so it turns out there was actually a candle maker right here in... Um, Wherever we are, Catherby. Um, so I didn't actually have to walk all the way to Yanil in the end anyway, because the candle will behave exactly the same as a torch. I still had to go past those horrible wolves, and they definitely nearly killed me. I'm sure there's a longer way around you can take to avoid the wolves, but I just sort of ran through them. <laughs> it was all right. Um, so yeah, I should be able to home teleport now. And we should have everything we need to get into the um, the swamp caves and then it's just a case of navigating past all of the explodey bits but let me uh, just clear my target the world map so we don't have that annoying line anymore Let's go see what we can do. In the swamp caves. I suppose I could have used this as an excuse to do Death to the Dogashin. But, um... There was a way of doing it without having to do that. And that will always be the way this account <laughs> is uh, is run. Okay, so I'm in the cave. Let me bring up the swamp cave map. So I know where I'm going in terms of avoiding wall beasts and exploding gas. So we need to go left at the junction. Okay. 
Now, I believe in order to avoid these guys, all I need to do is that step one in front of them and then uh, run. Yeah, that's good. These frogs might attack me. I don't know if they're aggressive. Uh, they might be. Sure, I've got auto retaliate off. I'm not too worried about the cave bugs. All the way up as high as we can go and then go right. Oh, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> Hardcore lost. <laughs> That'll teach me for trying to have a look what was going on. Oh, I've got to go through all of these options, haven't I? Well, see, I don't know if I can actually go back down there. The rope will still be there, I think. Because I don't have a candle. Like, will it let me actually do anything without a light source? I don't think it'll let me go down with it. So I've managed to run past that one. Oh, I wonder. Managed to run past that one. I just want to be able to get to my... Um... Oh, Jesus. You made it. What the effing and jeffing? What happened there? Okay. Okay. I made a slight mistake there. <laughs> so you can see how fun this shit's going to be with me because clearly I'm just an idiot. I think I'd have been fine if I just didn't light that bloody candle. I didn't need to. I could see where I was going. I don't think I was at particular risk of death. Although I am now going in there with no food. I've got a shield though.
This is the bit I didn't need to do. Like, I didn't need to go this way, I don't think. But I do need to now, because I need to go and get my stuff from my grave. And then we need to go through here. Now we can light the candle. And I think the goblins are just in here. Yes! Okay, we're going into block mode. Because these things can actually hit us. God, I hope they drop something. Some food. I'm not doing this again. Oh, body runes. Okay. So I'm just going to probably let myself heal up to, <laughs> to 10 health and then we'll, we'll, we'll kill some more. Our first upgrade. We just got a bronze spear from these guys. At least I think that's an upgrade. Let's have a look. Attack bonuses five 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 four three minus two. Defensive bonuses one on one. Now obviously I can't wear can't wear the shield with it. But it does give us an extra melee strength. And it also gives us the opportunity. Oh good, they're, they're all shared other than block. Which I'll use just until I get 5 defense. And then I'll go on to control. And level them all three up at the same time. Try and keep the account nice and balanced. I'll also do the same thing with uh, ranged and uh, mage. To a certain extent, mage I'm not quite as worried about going to be a problem getting runes and there's not a great deal of content that I think is going to require me to use mage. Um, I might be wrong, I might find that it's, it is really necessary but I'll focus melee and range uh, mostly. This task is taking a while because I'm so stubborn I don't want to leave the swamps here to go get food. Not that I've really got any sources of food, um, other than maybe the wine shop in Draenor. Um, I think they sell for a coin each, so I'll be able to get a decent amount of wines. Um, so yeah, I'm just having to wait to sort of get to about 7 or 8 health before I start killing one of these, just to cover myself. Um, in fact, I think I might even go back to to these two just until I get five defense just for that extra defensive bonus because although they only have a max hit of one they're hitting me fairly frequently which is annoying I almost man also managed to get a goblin mail I'm sure I need that for some sort of quest uh, at some point so that's just gonna be useful to have in the bank um, yeah back to it well that was fucking horrible Jesus. Oh well, I've killed them all now. <laughs> Died a few times. Bit annoying really. What I am going to do, I'm going to jump over here and grab uh, the Iron Man armor. I don't know what defensive bonuses it actually gives. That'll do. Just I'm, I'm just getting absolutely spanked uh, by level three fucking monsters. So uh, 
I'll pop this stuff on until I get uh, some armor drops. Even if those armor drops are technically downgrades, I'll probably equip those over the Iron Man armor because it just feels a bit cheesy uh, to grab that. I'm just going to nip over to Draenor. I believe there's a chap here who will sell me some wines, which will be useful. Uh, a healing? Oh, piss off, Jaylee. Right, where is this guy? It's the wine stall, isn't it? I think you just buy them from the guy who runs the wine stall. Is that him? Fortuna? Okay, joke. Coin. Now, are these really slow to restock and do they only stock one? I hope not. Restock five, restock time. Fifteen minutes. Oh, so we should have had a few more. Let's uh let's hop to another world and just see. some stock in those worlds. I just get the feeling this guy doesn't ever have five in stock. Grab a couple more, and then we'll, we'll we'll think of something else. Or it'll do. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's generate another task, and then we'll do that one in the next episode. Okay, <laughs> let's actually bring the the task sheet back so it looks like a task sheet. And we'll finish our 14 cave goblins. They were awful. And we'll grab a new contract. Oh shit, we're going back down into those caves, are we? At least, <laughs> At least we've got some armor now. Now, cave bugs. Are they the Slayer Monster version or are they the... Are oh, they just the, the little annoying shits that were attacking me down there? Uh, it doesn't look like they require a slayer level, so that's fine. That's okay. I'll be able to kill those. That, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I've got a few few bits of healing now. Uh, I mean, they do lower the old attack, but... Um, uh, what are you going to do? At least they heal me in clutch situations. I'll try and avoid using them. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.